It's about 8 a.m. and I've got to take my daughter to school. Today is different than other days taking her to school. I'm bringing all three of my saxophones and I'm going to do a little saxophone demonstration for the preschool kids. I got to tell you, I'm very nervous about this. You know, playing in front of a crowd of adults, of people who are listening to the music and whatnot, that's one thing. But playing in front of a crowd of preschool age kids, mm, I don't know. Like, they're going to be raising their hand and they're going to have so many questions and they're going to probably ask me to play nursery rhyme songs that I don't know. Or, or even more complicated, they're going to ask me to play like modern Disney songs and pop hits that I definitely don't know. And that's going to be like, I'm going to be nervous. Also, I figured I'd bring like alto, tenor, and soprano so that I can kind of give them an, a, you know, uh, a sampling. So I'm about to send out an email to all the people who read my In the Shed posts. You can get on that list on my website at bobreynoldsmusic.com. Why is this not working? Here's my website. Just go here and click on blog. And here's my blog. And if you click on this thing or right here, this link right here, and then you're gonna get this page. Look at that little guy right up there. He's just saying hi. Put in your name, put in your email, check this little box. You gotta check this box, because otherwise I won't send you like these musical updates. I only send these to guy, to people who check this box so as not to annoy people who aren't in, who don't know anything about Michael Brecker with an email about a Michael Brecker video. So do it. Just do that. A few questions. Somebody asked if I always transcribe at 100%, like in real time. Yes, I always do that. Why? Because I'm, it's ear training. I'm training my ears to be, I want my ears to be fast. If I, if I slow things down, a student of mine told me this. This is not my line. He said, Bob, I finally got it. Why you say to transcribe at full speed? Because if you're slowing things down and writing them down, and if you are what you repeatedly do, then you're training yourself to be a person who's very good at slowing things down, slowing down music and writing it on paper. Ding. I want my ears to be fast. I want to be able to react on the bandstand and have musical conversations with people. So for me, the best ear training is transcribing at real speed. If you've been watching these vlogs and a few of them where you've seen how I do it, I, you know, I just press, I press pause and play and pause and play and I do short snippets at a time and that's it. I mean, you know, there's a little bit more to it, but that's the basic idea. Over time, you get faster at it. I swear there was another question. Oh, I know what I wanted to mention. I'm getting a lot of emails from people from Melbourne, Australia. Yes, I will be coming there in June with Snarky Puppy. I know I'm not gonna have time to like do private lessons and such. Uh, hopefully we can do some, we're gonna do some sort of meetup or something. When I get my schedule, when I know what's going on and how much time I have, that would be really cool. In case any of those people see this vlog. I'm gonna leave it off here and from here on out is gonna be me playing Cherokee in three keys. So for the non-saxophone players, you're probably gonna wanna drop off here. This is about to get pretty boring. Everybody likes to put videos up of themselves on YouTube playing something that they're proud of, myself included. I have plenty of videos of me even playing just standards and stuff like that. This is not, it's not that I'm not proud of this. Actually, I am proud of this. This is me practicing, but it's certainly, it's riddled with mistakes, but I thought I would leave it in to show you, you know, just by observation maybe like what, when I'm working on something in this way, what's going on? Like when I goof, what do I, what, am, what do I do? How do I recover? Why Cherokee? Yeah, it's, you could say it's cliche, but you cover so much territory in one single song. I think that's why it continues to be such a mainstay and a staple, especially if you go through three keys. I, I you know, well, I'll let you watch and you can see where I mess up and how I recover. <laughs> Thank you.
key am I in? <laughs> Thank you.